the great remedy to all suffering is the inquiry koham who am i the great inquiry into suffering is getting close to suffering itself the sage says what is this sansar the sansar itself is the suffering the sage is saying get close to suffering is there any experience of your suffering which has not come from the world go into your own experience verify it we all have our wounds and hurts any of your wounds and hurts that have not come from the world that have not come from an aspect of your relationship with something or somebody the sage is saying suffering comes from the world suffering is in fact analogous to the world so inquire into the world and parallelly he is saying find out who am i the world gives the suffering to this i let the inquiry be parallel who is giving the suffering and who is the sufferer this is classical duality there is somebody who is affecting me and there is somebody who is getting affected there is an object and there is a subject the sage is saying inquire into both i and the sansar inquire into both and when you inquire into both then both dissolve together and now the non dual truth the dwait satya has descended now there is freedom from both the world that appears outside and the ego that appears inside in fact now outside and inside both are gone outside and inside are space gone the total import of all these five opening verses is simple kindly do not look for the beyond kindly do not look anywhere else for liberation you are living you are alive you have a life go into your own daily experiences go into how you are living are you getting it what am i wearing what am i eating where do i come and from where do i go am i attentive what am i planning for what am i looking towards am i still thinking of the future am i still thinking in terms of time am i always thinking in terms of time the sage is saying this is the only method and he is saying the truth being the only method it comes to you only by the grace of truth itself and truth showers its grace only when you have bowed down in front of it all it demands is your surrender all it demands is your call for help you have to first see that you are stuck and being what you are you cannot help yourself that all the methods and plans and cleverness devised by you has failed is failing and is condemned to fail once you have seen the utter futility of all your effort that is when you surrender in fact seeing the foolishness of your ways seeing the ineffectiveness of all your planning and cunningness is the entrance into spirituality is the advent of surrender getting it so let's be just a little more honest just a little more honest about what is happening what is happening every minute every moment right now in this honesty there might lie a little initial pain because when you will see you will only see 
that you are needlessly torturing yourself. That will disappoint you, especially if you consider yourself to be hale and hearty. But kindly, kindly let that disappointment come to you. That disappointment is auspicious. Once you are totally disappointed, then you let go of your hopes. Your hopes from yourself. That is surrender.